Hello everybody, I'm so excited because the annual catalogue started Tuesday. Where are we now? Thursday. So I wanted you to see the wonderful things that are inside it. So this is the catalogue. If you want your own copy, please, please do um, ask and I can send you one. So there's all sorts of glorious things in here, all sorts of lovely stamp sets and sweets and just beautiful things. And I'm delighted to say that a few of the nice things that I loved from the previous annual catalogue have carried forward. And also the current mini catalogue, a number of products that were in here have also made their way into the new annual catalogue, which is really good because it means they won't be retiring next month. So I'm delighted about that because um, some of my favourites are there. So I will show you some of the things, but first of all, when we get a new annual catalogue, what do we get? We get new colours. So we have to sadly say goodbye to some of my favourites. Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight were favourites of mine, so I'm sad to lose them, but we get some lovely new ones. So here are the new colours. So we've got Orchid Oasis, Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, I love the names, where they come up from, I don't know, and um, Parakeet Party and Starry Sky. So those are the five new colours and they're quite beautiful. Um, they are quite different. They look similar. Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky at first glance don't look too different. They are. That's very much a sort of slightly purpley blue. This is quite a deep blue, but not as dark as Night of Navy. And they're rather nice. And then there's all sorts of other things to go with them. So we have the cardstock, which I seem to have lost. Where have I put it? Here we go. So you can see the difference in the colour in the cardstock. So if I pull some out so you can see it, might as well come out, people. So the first one I've got here. So we've got ooh, Parakeet Party, and we have Tahitian Tide which is a lovely turquoisey one, but not too bright a turquoise. I think that is going to become a favorite of mine. I like that. Sweet sorbet I like as well, because it, it really is a sorbet color rather than the sort of deep ones we've got, cherry cobble and real red and poppy parade. It's not nearly as bright as those. It's a lovely red. I, really, I think that's gonna be one of my favorites too. And these are the two that are similar. And I think you can see in the card, they are actually quite different. So this one's uh, Orchid Oasis, this slightly lighter, slightly purpley blue in my in my eyes um, and then we have starry sky this this nice blue which I think might go quite well with night of navy actually so those are the colors and now I've managed to pull that right out of the pack so I won't be able to get them back in again but I will fight with this later I just need to get it in so I'm not going to drop them all over the floor which is a very common thing of mine so I'll put those down there so what else we've got? Well, of course, when we get all the colors, we also have our stamping right markers with their thin and their um, thick ends. And um, so these are the in-color water-based markers. Nice set of those. Then we have, I haven't even got them out of the bags yet. These are the stamping blends. So we've got the light and the dark in each of the new color shades, which is lovely because we didn't actually have blends of every single color two years ago. So it's nice that we're now getting the blends of all the colors. So we have the blends, then we have a lovely set of opal rounds. So they're not the usual round things. They are slightly oval. They're not very oval, but they are very slightly oval. If you can just see there, they still look quite round in that picture actually, but they are very slightly oval. Um, so these are the, um, they're just lovely. They're, they're sparkly. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in them. They're very sparkly rather nice and each color in two sizes which is rather nice so they're the in color little gems that go with us and then we have of course we have a pack of in color designer series paper i have used some of these already because um i made bookmarks to go out with my catalogs so these are the different colors so in each of the five colors you get four different patterns so you get a flowery pattern and on the back of that there's the stripy pattern and on the other pieces, there's a spotty pattern and a sort of gingham check tweedy type pattern. I don't know what you call that, but anyway. So, and you obviously get those patterns in every single color. So there's, I think it's four, four sheets of each pattern in each color. I think that's how it works. Um, so I think it's 40 sheets in the pack, is it? Or something like that. Well, yes, 40 sheets in the pack. So 10, so it must be five of each pattern in each color. Yes. <laughs> 
So two different patterns, each in five colours, gets you to the 40. And then there is this wonderful thing, and I'm just opening this as we speak, because it's only just arrived. So I haven't actually had a look, but I was excited when I saw this, because this is... And again, it's an in colour set, so it's got all of the in colours in it. Can't get them out. Ugh. Let me pull one or two out just to get them going. Oh, might have to tear the pack to get these out. But this is glimmer paper. Can we see the glimmer in it? Is my camera going to pick that up? Just about there, yes. So we can see, there we go. So it's glimmer and it's it, two things. Glimmery, it's got sort of sparkles everywhere. Yes, you can see it better there. There's the sparkles and you can see it's ombre as well. So from a deep shade to a light shade. So we've got that in sweet sorbet, in parakeet, in all the different colors, you've got this wonderful glimmer paper. So that is going to be very exciting to look at. I'm looking forward to having a play with that. So all the different colors in here. Whoa, it's gonna be lovely. So that quite excites me because we've never had an in-colour set of glimmer paper before. We've always had um, separate packs of glimmer paper just in certain colours or in... Sometimes there was some in um, the celebration. We had one year, we had some lovely glimmer papers in celebration, which I've still got. But I'm really excited that this time we've actually got... I am fighting to get things back in packets today. <laughs> I think I might have to break this packet because I don't want to damage the paper. There we go, it's going in now. Um, so I'm very excited that we've got glimmer paper in all of the new colours. And of course, that's still not all, because what else do we have? Well, we have ribbon. And again, in each of the colours, we have this lovely, just quarter inch sparkly ribbon. So it's just lovely. You see it there, all beautifully sparkly against my sparkly nails. So in all the different five colours, which is lovely. So all these wonderful things. And there's also in colour grid paper that you can get as well. I haven't actually got any of that, but you can get that. And the beauty of it is that you can get a lot of this for free. You can actually get the grid paper, which I can't show you because I haven't got it. Every single stamping pad. How good is that? A pack, the whole pack of uh, the designer series in colour paper and the A4 size set of mixed cardstock. So how good is that? You get all of that for free if you join up in May, which is, I think, the best offer they've ever had. So if in colours are on your list, please think about joining, get in touch and ask me about it. Um, and you'll get all of this stuff for free. And then that means you've got money spare to buy the blends or the, or the Stampin' Right markers or the glimmer paper or whatever, because there's more of it you'll want. So what else have we got in the catalogue? Well, the very first suite that comes up, you know how they have suites that get bits of everything. And this is the first suite. It's called, I can't remember what the suite's called, the tea suite or something like that, um, or tea time suite. So it has this cup of tea dyes, which have got two different cups and various bits you can put together and some rather nice sentiments. Thank you for your friendship. Take care of yourself. Let's get together soon. Thank you. And then you've got these little teeny tiny sentiments here, which I'll have to bring show so you can actually see them. So they say things like sweet. I miss you. I just can't thank you enough. Enjoy. It's time for tea and to and from. And all of those fit in that little mini tag. How beautiful is that? So you can make a teacup with a tea bag hanging out of it, which I think is rather nice. So the nice clear dyes. So uh, that makes it easy to put those things together. Uh, nice clear stamps. And they go with this matching set of dies, which again, I haven't had time to get out yet. So let me, <coughs> struggling to open things today. Let me get these things out to show you. So these are the dies that go with it and the dies will cut all of the shapes on the stamp set. So it cuts the um, cup, it cuts the these foliage group, you've got all the flowers. This is one stamp and it cuts out together, which is nice. You're not fiddling around with silly little individual stamps. It's got one individual flower here, individual stamp, a couple of extra dies like the hearts. It cuts out um, a little tag. Um, it got a, it's got lemon slices. It cuts out this leaf. There's all sorts in here that just make it rather nice. We've got a couple of different sizes of tags there. So nice dies that go with that. I actually keep my dies, little tip, but where I've got a matching set where the dies very clearly match the stamps, I always keep the dies actually in with the set. And then I put myself 
a little note on the front to say what the dies are and that they're in this box so I know where they are. So just a little thought. So cup of tea dies and stamps and that comes as a suite with this gorgeous designer series paper which I haven't even opened yet. So let me just open that and I can show you the different papers. So this is all one suite, 63.50, I think. So on the back of the sheets, we've got just patterns in all the different colors. These are in colors, they, they match most of the in colors plus a few extras as well, um, as you can see. So nice pictures on, uh, patterns on the back and pictures on the front. So we've got all sorts of different uh, teapots. Oh, nice lemony one there. Foliagey one, cups, I wonder if, there's a die. No, there isn't a die small enough for those. Um, again, flowers. What else? We've got more foliage. Oh, quite bright flowers. There you go. Oh, nice coffee pots and teapots. Nice little envelope with flowers in. That's rather nice. And some more coffee pots and some more flowers. So a lot of different papers to choose from in that set. And there's how many sheets? 48 sheets in there, which is brilliant. And it also comes, the sweet with this, which is um, a set of note cards and cards, envelopes and cards. So again, if I can just get it open. Look at those. So there is a whole set of cards with matching envelopes. Ooh, go get them out this way. Well packed in, there we go. So, envelopes in each of the ink colours, Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. So that's all of those. And for each envelope, there is a matching card. So we've got stripy green. We've got a little tiny flower design on that. Difficult to see, but it is just a little flower design on that sweet Sorbet one. Tahitian Tide is spots. What else have we got? Oh, a nice splodgy pattern for um, Orchid Oasis and diamond pattern for Starry Sky. So how, how many is in the pack? 20 cards and envelopes in that pack. So plenty of opportunity to have a good play. So I think we might be doing that. Me and the people, I've got some crafty friends coming around this afternoon and we're all going to have a play. So we might well play with these, I think, and have a, have a little go with those. Definitely can't get those back in there. So I'm just going to leave them there because otherwise I'll be fiddling around forever. So what else have we got? Well, there's a number of other sets that I've got, new sets. So let's do this one first. This is Bottled Happiness and it comes with a punch. Now, unfortunately, the punch wasn't available as the pre-order. It should have been, but it was out of stock. So I am still waiting for a punch, but the punch uh, punches out this bottle. And the beauty of that is that you can also buy, oh, let's have a look at these. These are just beautiful, teeny tiny little bottle shapes. Can you see those? So the punch cuts out the hole, then you can put this frame around the hole. So they're um, little shaker domes. So you have your card, you punch out your, your punch with the punch when it comes, then the shaker dome you can fill with all sorts. You could fill with sequins, you can fill with just put, you know, any old sequins or little gems or anything in there that you want to make it a shaker. Or I had a great idea and I shall be doing this when, my, when I do get my punch. I want to put a little message in the bottle. I think bottles should have messages in. So I'm looking quite looking forward to having a little play with those as well. But it will be difficult. I could cut it out by hand, but it might not be as good. I am waiting for the punch to make sure it's right. But there's a lovely set of stamps in the set here. Um, you have a background stamp of, of flowers with some foliage around and another stamp that fits on top. So there's two different stamps that fit together to form a beautiful bouquet that can sit in the bottle, two different sizes of bottle, a label for the bottle, an outline if you want to do an outline bottle, a little bit of fo spare foliage if you like. There's even a top for the bottle if you want to put a, a bung in the bottle for whatever reason, overflowing with happiness, sending a little message, sending cheer, wine not, both of those fit into the label. Let's get into the spirit, quite like that one. So again, it's a clear stamp set, so it makes putting those two different flower um, stamps together very easy. Um, yeah, so that's that set, which is really nice. Then we have another bundle, 
that comes as a bundle with the punch. So when you're buying it, you can save 10%, which is lovely. So this is another bundle. It's the Sending Smiles bundle, and it goes with the Sending Dies, which I've already opened and put in, as I say, I always do. Again, clear stamp set. And this has the Sending, that is the stamp you can cut out with the die and also has a background to it. So it's a double layer message if you want to use that. And then the other dies cut out all of the other shapes on here, which is lovely. Um, and you've also got some two different um, sizes of frame die, which fit these two different sets of sentiments that we've got here. So loads of dies to play with in this one. And some lovely sentiments again, smiles across the, the miles, all the good luck your way, sunshine to brighten your day, love and big hugs, birthday wishes, a note of thanks, card to say hello, comfort and strength. So this is lovely because you can use it for so many different situations and so many different um, anniversaries, you know, celebrations, whatever it is, sympathy cards it'll do. So it's a nice multi-purpose set, which I quite like. So again, nice set there. Then we have, I want to show you these, again, I haven't opened them yet. This does come as a bundle. Um, I decided I didn't actually want the stamp set that goes with this bundle, but these are, oh dear, I'm struggling to get things out today. I do fit them very tightly into these things. These are stylish shape dies. So let me show you these, because I saw these in the catalog and I thought, wow, I'm gonna have to have a play with those. Oops, stuck to there. Look at these, aren't these beautiful? So we've had stitch shaped ones before, but we've never had such a variety as this. So in the same pack, so as one pack of these lovely things, we've got these stitched circles, we've got stitched squares, we've got these lovely um, tailored tag things in, two diff in four different sizes and four different lengths. So that is a lovely, I thought that was a wonderful die set. I love using dies, particularly for sentiments, but also for backgrounds, for cards and for all sorts of other reasons. And I thought, oh yes, because I really, really miss our previous um, dies that were similar. We had oval circles and squares in the, in the previous um, set, but they've retired. So it's lovely to see these coming back. So you might want to think about that one as well. That's the stylish shape dies, which are lovely. So those are all the really new, oh, now I've got a couple of new things to still show you. I bought one set of the designer series paper. Now, if you know me, you know that I absolutely love black and white paper because, especially with designs on, because it means you can color it and make it fit any type of card, any color card, any style of card you want. So this is beautiful. It is called the perfectly penciled designer series paper. And again, there are lots of different designs. We've got this lovely flower on the front, which I can just envisage being beautifully colored. Um, one with leaves on, again, which you could color in any green that you wished to see. Another smaller flower thing there. Little tiny flowers on that, make a nice background card. Um, different types of flowers again. That to me matches one of the sets that is continuing, which is the um, Flowers of Friendship. And I think it would match that very well. Anyway final flowery one there and of course because this is stamping up we also have designs on the back so we've got um this sort of leafy design and also we got that checkerboard design some stripes i was expecting dots and so yes we have got dots and oh nice little tiny little flowers again you could color those if you want and Oh, a sort of ringy, whatever you call those sorts of designs. So some really nice background papers too for some nice monochrome cards, but you can make these any color you want. And that's why I love these sorts of paper. So this, I'm glad to see a set in here. I'm just ripping this bag, but I put them in, I put them in different folders anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. So that's one set of paper. And then I came across these. Now this is beautiful. It's a specialty paper and it's called Swish Stroke. So a brush stroke, 12 by 12 specials paper. And I'll show you these because I'll need to bring these up to the camera for you to see them. But there are th just three sheets in the pack, but I'll use this one because you'll probably see this better. Can you see this glimmer? It's got like a fern design on it and it glimmers all over. So it's a specialty paper. It feels beautiful. Um, it's got texture to it. There's actually, there are little lines in the paper. It's beautifully textured. It's got this lovely sheen. So you get different, as you move it in the light, you get a different sort of look all the time. It's beautiful. 
it's the sort of paper I'm going to look at and go, oh, it's lovely, but it's too lovely to use. <laughs> so we've got it in the three colours. Um, I think that's Soft Succulent, Night of Navy, and I think that's Blushing Bride. Let me just check. I got that right. Yes, Blushing Bride, Night of Navy and Soft Succulent. So some look beautiful. I love Night of Navy for cards, so I shall definitely be using that piece. But I still love Soft Succulent, one of the current in colours. And yeah, nice. And I tell you what, all these three go together. I could envisage a little card with using all three of those bits, actually. Just had a good idea for one. Might play with that one later, too. So, oh, see, I'm going to rip that, too. <laughs> I'm very good at ripping bags, mainly because I've stuck it to my... So, right, so I'll put that away, too. And I just wanted to show you a couple of other things and that I'm really glad are carrying forward. This was first out in the mini catalogue, the Ladybird set. Um, so we've got the lovely set to go with the punch. That is carrying forward into the annual catalogue. Hooray! As are the flowering tulips, as are actually quite a lot of other stamp sets. So I am actually, I've, I've done my usual, I have to gird my loins to do this. But of course, when we get a new catalogue, it's lovely to see the new stuff, but the old stuff retires. And I have to gird my loins to go through and see which of my favourites I'm going to lose. But I've actually still got a whole a whole row of um, different stamp sets that are continuing, which I'm really pleased about. So ask me if you want to see this beautiful, the um, beautiful catalogue. Let me know if you want a copy, because I'm very happy to send it to you. And if you want to make an order, of course, get in touch. Hope you enjoyed that quick view through these wonderful new products and I'll leave the colours out so you can see them again. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.